YouTube kick. We're just going to hop right into this story. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about, so we got this person who is, uh, who says that he is, well, he, he's in jail now, but for some reason, these people want him to be exonerated. They don't want him to go to jail for what he's done. So let's read into this story. <clears throat> Suspect purse snatcher faces murder charges and dragging death of a popular California bakery owner and activist. A 19-year-old man was charged with in the killing of a popular California bakery owner fatally wounded in a purse snatching after being dragged by the getaway car and hitting her head in the middle of the street. I want to read this one part before we go into what, what this whole story is really about. So Angel was wounded fatally, uh, was fatally wounded on February 6th when a thief broke into her car while she was in it, snatched her purse, and then ran to a getaway vehicle. Angel jumped out of her car and ran after the thief, but she was knocked down in a struggle, snagged by the suspect's car, and dragged more than 50 feet before falling into the street. So the reason I wanted to talk about that, because there's a video on this case, and I want you guys to check it out and create accountability that is that is really rooted in. Barbara Burse was Angel's friend. She's one of several people calling on local authorities to pursue an alternative to traditional prosecution. I know Den believed that we need to address harm and create accountability that is that is really rooted in, in looking at the root causes of, of why harm happens. Burr says Angel strongly disagreed with the current criminal justice system and would not want her alleged killer to go to prison. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, we could read the rest of it here. Um, down here it says, Jen's family and a close friends asked that the media respect the request and carry for you. I'm sorry, that's the wrong part. Her family said they didn't want the person or uh, people responsible for her death to be incarcerated to honor her commitment to restorative and transformative justice. She believed incarceration was not an effective or just solution to social violence and inequity. On a website, the estate of Jen uh, Angel, a group of trusted friends, said the family is committed to pursuing all alternate, uh, alternatives to traditional prosecution. So this man should not go to jail. His actions directly led to, that's why it's a second degree murder, by the way, his, his actions directly led to her death. But for some reason, they're saying that they don't want that to happen. Here's my thing, and here's my one question I have about this. One, I, I, I don't want to make it a race thing, because I don't think it's a race thing in this case, because this person didn't say, we don't want black people to be incarcerated. The person said, we don't want anybody to be incarcerated. So it's not a black thing. My main thing is, if she didn't believe in justice, right, or the justice system as we have it, of going to jail, I don't understand why a person who believes so strongly in not taking people to jail, which I believe in some cases this shouldn't happen either. But, you know, the other alternative can't be something like, oh, just a halfway house after you just murdered somebody. Murder is a different thing, you know? Um, but I don't think the man was intentionally trying to kill her. Obviously, he was just trying to steal, steal the purse. So he probably wasn't trying to kill her. This trial doesn't happen until July 14th. And if it is a live trial, we may watch that. I kind of, I'm kind of curious about that. So if that trial is live, we will go into that and see, we'll see what you guys think about that. Um, but going back to, um, if she believes truly that these kind of people shouldn't be incarcerated, I wonder why she got out of her vehicle to go chase that man. She got out of the vehicle to chase him. Has she just let him take the purse and let him dip? She'd be alive today. More than likely. But the fact is, the reason she ended up passing away is not because the man tried to kill her, but because he snatched the purse and she went after the purse. Well, I don't understand why you would go after that purse. What, how do you think that story was going to end? If, the purse, if a person's life to you, even if the murder is more important than jail, why is your purse more important than your life? You went after that purse for no good reason. I understand. I get it. If something's stolen from you, you want it back. But not, not in this case. In this case, when the purse is stolen from you, let it go. And I'm only bringing that up, and I'm not saying that in the, in the split-second moment we all think rationally. What I am saying, though, is that her family is saying this man shouldn't be incarcerated. I'm just surprised, really, that a woman who believes that the jail system and all that stuff shouldn't be our only option or even maybe a main option would go after a purse if she didn't think that person was in the wrong. 
or she at least thought that person was in the wrong but shouldn't go to jail or anything else. And if their belief is truly that if murder was to happen, even if it's a direct action of you doing, you kill the person during a crime, right? The crime wasn't supposed to go that way, but it, it resulted in the end of the death. Unintentional. She didn't bang her head on the road because he knocked her off. She got dragged by the car because she was trying to get her bag and banged her head on the ground and later on lost all brain function. That's just This is just a very, I mean, very interesting. I really want to know what you guys think about what would you do? What would you do? Do you think this man deserves to go to jail? Yes, I do. Do you think the girl, the woman should have went after the purse? I think not. And do you think the family is right in fighting, fighting this case? Pretty much, they're going to fight against this person going to jail. Do you think a person like that should be on the streets? Listen, in my opinion, and it's going to be my opinion, I think the man should go to jail. Murder? Second degree murder is meaning like you didn't directly, your intentions wasn't murder. Like first degree murder would be he intentionally went out to kill her. But second degree would be more like he did not intentionally go to kill her, but his actions directly led to her death, right? Had you not gone to snatch, had you not committed the crime, she wouldn't have gone after that and all that. Do I think he should go to jail for that? Mm, that's the case we should watch. Man, it's just one of those things. We have to hear all the stories. Um, was she attacking him in the car? And I'm not saying he's right. I'm not. But was she attacking him in the car? Was he just trying to get away? And the only reason she died is because she happened to, hang on to the car that's a lot man i do think he should go to jail for stealing the purse um but as far as him having to get that second degree murder i don't know i don't know all the evidence all i know so far is he stole it he tried to get away she didn't let go and then she ended up getting dragged by the car because she didn't let go and then it directly led to the, her um passing away and how old is he and this man is 19 years old um in san francisco 19 years old, man. Just to think about it, your life could be over. Second degree murder, probably at least 20 years. We don't have much more on the story. We'll know more about it. This is on Long Crime. And you know the Long Crime um, Network. Um, they're going to put this up on YouTube more than likely when it comes to trial, July 14th. So we'll check into that. Okay. On to the next story. Oh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you were feeling. Let me know your comments down below. See you in the next video.